Daggone it! We're back. <laughs> We're back. We was just, we just thought we'd throw a second video out today because we were just talking about something. Uh, people's New Year's resolutions and people who want to get healthy. Um, uh, the most resolutions I've heard from my friends and stuff this year was like, uh, work out more, eat better, save some money. Chala, get down. Save some money. Um, now, I had not made New Year's resolutions in years because I never keep them. Uh, right. I don't make them. I don't make them. I don't keep them. I don't. I, I'll never keep them. I, I, at two weeks in, I didn't forgot all about the New Year's resolution. What are you talking about? I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but this year, um, after me and uh, Ken made complete gluttons of ourselves for Christmas. Over the holidays. Was Fudge, terrible. pies, yes. homemade candies, mm -hmm. cookies. I made cookies galore for Christmas. Sausage balls. Oh. Everything. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, you know, and I'm all, me and my husband are both already a little overweight too. I mean, I'm, I am obese, okay? Obese. Uh. <laughs> I'm a beast. She's not. <laughs> so look, so I went to a nutritionist, and I'm always sarcastic and funny. So um, the nutritionist, she's so nice. Her name is Kayla, and she's down in Eden at Dr. Dabbs. She is so nice. Um, and so I've just started this thing because me and my husband decided that we don't want to have heart attacks by the time, you know, that he's getting ready to retire, and then we both fall over with a heart attack and die. Um, so Kayla's so nice, though. She was so sweet, and... Um, she has put me on this, uh, little thing, and so I'm, I'm trying real hard, but I'm failing at a lot of it. I'm just gonna just be real. Well, we were just sitting here comparing notes because, mm -hmm. so when she says she wanted to get healthier and she went to a nutritionist, mm -hmm. I had been thinking about Weight Watchers because I ha I'm in menopause and I have gained like 15 pounds. Ladies, if anybody out there knows the real whole ways to tell that you're in menopause, pass it along. Let us know, please. And what are you doing for it? Especially them hot flashes. Yeah, and our friend Lindy, she told us about, um, you know what, while well, you're talking to Lisa, I'll show you what Lindy told me to get. I forgot what she said, but I've been using uh, Estrovan. I use the Walmart brand just for the hot flashes and the food cravings. I use the weight management. I like it. Oh, does that work for... It, the Walmart brand craved it... it it, I didn't have cravings with it. Now, when they ran out and I had to go to the name brand, I can't really tell a difference. I'm still having hot flashes. Um, I don't know. If somebody knows how to get rid of them, let me know. Black cohosh root is what That's Lindy told So I now. bought these right here that have that in it. It says menopause support. I don't have a clue about... I mean, we don't know. Are you having hot flashes? Um, I'm, I've been hot my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that I wasn't going through menopause when I was 25. <laughs> but you, it's not been more severe lately. Um, some days, yes. Okay. Night, at night time. Um, I've always well, been... Well, her husband keeps it like... A meat locker, so she yeah. she she may not even she well, might go through menopause and not know nothing. Yeah, he keeps it cold in here, but now her husband keeps the house at eighty seven thousand <laughs> eighty so seven thousand <laughs> degrees. It's hot, um, and we're in a bedroom with the furnace under the bedroom. <laughs> so my window on my side of the bed has been inching open. Mm -hmm. The hotter he has it in there, because we also have a wood stove for backup, and he's been using that. She witnessed that the other night. It was so bad. So I'm like, "What are y'all cooking in here, it was people?" And he's freezing. I, I, I'm. I told him the other day. I said, "I'm just giving this battle up. I'm just gonna sweat. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. be miserable because you've got to stay warm." Mm -hmm. He's not giving in on this one. Most right. time he'll give. He's in, not. He'll give in on some stuff, but this one he's just like, he's not. "I'm not." Going to be cold. He's I'm not, not going it. to. And he's not doing it. Like she said, he can layer up. He's like, why do I want to do that? He's in a hoodie all the I time. I told anyway. him. I said, you can wear your long sleeve shirt and a sweater in here, whereas Lisa can only take off so many clothes. Take off so much. Once you've took all your clothes off, then that's that. I, and I 
I've had to go to the front door when it's, you know, 25 degrees outside and open the front door just to cool off a little bit. And then he's just like, you're ridiculous. So he don't, men don't he understand. He don't understand. They don't get it. None of them probably do. But that's an ongoing battle Why in are we talking? House. I'm going to take two of these. Uh, that, that, that's... <laughs> So, if anybody has any suggestions, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't want to not sleep with my husband. And I think, you know, growing up, I used to think, why do men and women sleep different when they, you know, In why separate they, rooms. Now I know. This might be it. Now I know. Because the men want to, you know, freeze you out. And the women, and I've talked to people at my work, too, and they're like, and these guys are like, my wife. Yes. Has to have it 65 degrees in my yes. house. And I'm like, with I love fan her. With the fan going. I love her. With the fan going. I love your yes. wife. So, mm -hmm. if anybody has any suggestions on these hot flashes or night sweats or whatever, comment, let us know. We need to know something. So, all right. The um, the healthiness, too. So, I'm going to tell you, when we were... One thing that Kayla told me about... Because I be snacking. I be snacking, I be snacking, snacking, snacking. She's I, not healthy snacking. No. She's... Mm -mm non-healthy snack but okay so that thing about if it tastes good it's got to be good for you ain't true <laughs> right <laughs> it's opposite <laughs> i wish it was true yeah because honey i don't eat chocolate three times a day i would um so um healthy eating and working out now i'm having troubles getting my husband to work out i'm not on the workout wagon Okay. I, I feel like if you eat right, you can lose weight without uh -huh. exercising, but then your muscle tone's not going to be But good. when I was working out regular with my trainer, Phil, who is really good, y'all, Phil Martin and Medin, uh, and his girlfriend, Brittany Dotson, they're really, really good. When I was working out with them, I felt so good. Well, maybe. It's just a point of getting yourself there like, and getting yourself started. You would get that work. I would get that workout after work for about an hour. And then the next morning, yeah, I'd be sore as a mother. But felt so good. Okay. You do you. <laughs> it felt so good, y'all. I'm I, not Well, kidding. I mean, but see. when My you're... mental state was good. My, the, my bounce and get up out of bed was better. Uh, I hadn't been going for, I hurt my shoulder, haven't, I don't know, I'm having trouble with my shoulder, so the doctor put me out of doing anything uh, like weights and stuff for a month, so I got lazy. But when, when you're at work, you're more eight hours out of desk. Mm, yes. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm she moves around desk, a lot. I'm at my desk. I'm out on the floor, and I, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. I have not counted my steps on the floor. Uh -huh. um, oh, you need to do that. I do need to do that, but so on Weight Watchers, if you walk for 20 minutes, I don't care if it's low intensity, medium, high, whatever, you're going to get a point added to your um, food for that day. Well, how many points do you get for the day? So I get 23. With? So you get 23 daily points, and then you get, like I get 28 weekly points. So I can divide those weekly points up. To each Between day. the days, or I can wait till like Saturday or Sunday or whatever day and that we're going out. and pig out. Oh my God, that's kind of cool. The last time but I was now on you it, walk in twenty minutes and you only get one point. That is amazing to me. I'm not really. I, it's something I'm doing anyway. Okay, I, I'm doing it anyway. I'm not having to like lot, walk laps. I'm just walking, walking okay. from one place to another. So okay, and I only give myself one point a day because. It's not a constant walk. Okay. So I don't try to overdo and cheat on that. Mm. But uh, I don't know with with what I feel like is going through menopause. I don't know if it's going to work, but mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a try. It's $10 a month. you got to give it a try. Okay. So we're going to kind of stay on top of each other. And I looked at her diary book right here. What? <laughs> <laughs> On Monday, I wrote a note that says, why am I so hungry? I was hungry the whole day. So I'm like, well, did you drink a lot of water and did you eat a lot of fruit? And she's like, one, two, three, three. I only had three waters that day and a couple Gatorade, one, two, three cups of Gatorade Zero. And so, no, I didn't get enough water that day. And I was hungry. 
Well, our lifestyle changes because I'm not calling it a diet. It's I mean, it's something we're gonna have to it, hang on. It to. really needs to be a lifestyle change. Yeah, it's it's similar but different. It's a lot of similarities in it. So I, Kayla gave me this list of things to get and eat, and the things that I like the best off the list that I did stock up on the grocery store was mushrooms, avocados, onions, green peppers. Chicken breast, shrimp. She said I can eat lots of seafood. Yes, you can. I got the organic. But it can't uh, be deep fried. Right. Yeah, and I don't really care for fried. Yeah. Seafood. I prefer. I like broiled. some fried popcorn shrimp. Scouts, well, I mean, I, I like it, but the taste of that to me is not as good as when it's broiled. It depends on where they're cooking it and, it, and the grease they're cooking it. That's in. what it is. The grease. Yeah. The grease. And I got the organic low sugar oatmeal. I got salmon, uh, low fat yogurt, turkey bacon. I bought three dozen eggs because she wanted me to prep protein, eggs on protein, Sunday. Protein. Boil the eggs on Sunday and have them ready to take to work that week. Because if you don't prep, it's so hard to keep your. I'm having problems with prep. I don't know if this is going to get any better. What, what, I mean, what are you having a problem, like? Like, and I, I, I did prep my eggs and my vegetables and stuff, but I have not made myself prep, like, make my chicken that'll last me for a few days. So I got to get in the routine of cooking these things that last for a few days. Like the chicken, so it's the just turkey. getting it cooked. It's not really yeah, putting it in I the get, balls and getting. I it get lazy on the getting in here and getting it done. Yeah. Okay, I got the two percent milk, and I didn't ask her if I needed to get two percent milk, but I did get it. So I'm gonna have to talk great. to her about that. Yeah. I got some protein bars that were very low in sugar and high in proteins. I got wheat crackers. I, she didn't tell me I could. Because it is a carb, and she's probably going to tell me to throw them away. I haven't ate any this week, but Ken's probably ate the whole pack. I got peanut butter pretzels, and again, she's probably going to say, get rid of them peanut butter Do <laughs> not get pretzels with peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter was on the list of things I can have, so I said, well. And it's probably all natural peanut I'll butter. I'll mix it with, is it? It's I don't probably. Know. Well, let me finish. And I got wheat bread, and I don't eat a lot of that. I do eat some once okay. in a while. And a whole thing of turkey meatballs that I can just cook really quick. Yeah. Turkey meatballs. Okay. Tur she told me plenty of turkey. I got the something. I don't know what they're called. They're turkey meatballs from... Uh, just from Walmart, I think. Okay, I didn't know they had turkey meatballs. I yeah. It. So one thing, speaking of turkey, years ago, mm -hmm. when Sherry did, was it LA weight LA loss? LA weight loss, and I lost so much weight. She lost a ton of weight, and one of my favorite things, we would cook together sometimes in uh -huh. the evenings, and one of my favorite things that she made was she took the turkey burger, she cut up some mm -hmm. green peppers and some mm -hmm. onions, chopped them up, put them in this, made patties. Mm -hmm. That is still a big thing in my household today. Like, my kids absolutely mm -hmm. love it. My grandkids love it. Mm -hmm. And throw that on a bun. I mean, I got a five-year-old that's eating that. Yeah. So, when we go to the beach every year, I have to cook mm -hmm. them. They come in with six pounds of turkey burger last if, year. You know, if we, can, if we can start this, you can too. Yes, if you want I, to. I hope, we're, I hope we're successful. We're trying to hold each other accountable at this mm -hmm. point. She's looking mm -hmm. like, I might have some doubts about this, but she's going mm -hmm. to do it. She's um, going to do it. So, if I had why to text don't I her see every peanut day and butter say, on her list? <laughs> what did you eat today, ho? You might not. I see eaten. nut butter. What's that mean? Nut butter. It might be some form of um, like a. Why was I thinking butter. she told me peanut butter? Oh my goodness! Because you had the peanut, but you think it's because it's a protein or something. I, I made know. it up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I made it up. It was in my mind that that was great for me, and I was gonna eat it. Yeah, I know. You, know, it's not you good remember for me. A Thousand Pound Sisters when they said that when they were growing up, their mama told them. That they could eat something bad for them, but as long as they drink a diet soda, it cancels it out. Yes, I do That's remember that. That's not true. That's not true. And they were eat, they were drinking like regular sodies. They were sodies. Drinking eight They're to, sodies. Eight to twelve sodies a day. And I I just say, thousand pound sisters, Tammy, you look amazing. Amazing. We're so proud of you. I never thought she'd be there. Amy really and didn't. Tammy both look great. Chris is doing great. Well, Amy's got some emotional she issues. Does. I'm really worried about. And her. I'm with her on that because. Divorce or separate. I, I don't know. If, I guess divorce is, proceedings might happen, but separation has happened, and it's not easy. 
Yeah, I think she's feeling it's alone even though she's got Tammy mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that on the Y'all. I've got to get caught up on it and we're we going to discuss this. We love to watch Thousand Pound Sisters. Yes, they are. I'm going to meet them one day. Me too. I want to figure out how, how, when and where they do these meet and greets. Well, I'm, they have the Slayton Sisters has a YouTube channel. Yes. So maybe we can just, you know. We're going to have to keep a watch keep on it. Keep a watch it. on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so, all right, so I can't find peanut butter. You're not going to find peanut butter. <laughs> but why? <laughs> why? Why does it say nut butter, y'all? What the heck is nut butter? Hold on. Let it me, sounds nasty. Let me get my phone. Let me see if I can. I don't want to put my butt all up in Nut here. butter. Proteins are hey, nut nuts. Hey, nut butter cookies. Look, nuts and nut butter. Nut, nut or butter cookies. Oh, there's peanut butter. Look, says I can have egg whites and peanut butter. Okay, well. As a... Protein combined with a fat. But it's probably, are you limited? I'm sure I am, but I'm really overdoing it at this point. Because I'll get those pretzels right there with the peanut butter Why in Why do you have pretzels? I can't understand that. I pretzels love is, them. Pretzels is not good I for wanna, you. I want to go in there and I want Kayla to tell me that I can eat all that I want to, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I mean, I like Chex Mix. Oh. Um, mm. The cheddar Chex Mix mm. is what I put on right I love now. any of it. And it's got, and I know I'm not supposed to have it, but I can have it as long as I got the points for it. Mm -hmm. So if I want Chex Mix, I got to eat a bunch of zero points food that day, which is, you know, fruits and vegetables or whatever. So if you eat a bunch of them, you can have a helping of Chex Mix? Yes. If I eat zero point foods all day and I have 23 points at the end of the day, if if a Kit Kat, if a mini Kit Kat bar is three points, I can sit down and eat all of that all to right. make up my twenty. So maybe points. you should look at my list of foods and tell me how many points that would cost you in a day, and I'll write down one, two, five, seven, nine. I can do that, um, and then I'll try to combine my nutritionist advice with points. With points. With and points. you know what, my nutritionist. I'm, I'll just tell her that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Because my eating habits, like Thursday, I barely ate anything because I was on the road, um, working. That's another thing. I if was you, working. If you know you're going to, that's where that food prep comes in. If you know you're going to be on the road, then get you some Ziploc bags. That's why I got to get snacks. with it. So. Yeah. All you people out there, we got to get with the food prep. And I know it's not always the easiest, but we got to get with it. Because what's easy is stopping at a gas station and grabbing, you know, an already made mm -hmm. hot dog or a bag of chips or something like I, that. Honestly, that day, I uh, did not eat anything because I had some customers I had to stop and see. And I did not eat anything but a protein bar, drank a whole Gatorade Zero, and drank a water. Until that evening, I had, I stopped at Mr. Barbecue in Greensboro, which is, oh my God, the bomb. And I had a barbecue sandwich. And I can't tell you what I had with it. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't eat all the potatoes, but I ate every ounce of that barbecue because I had went all day and not had anything to eat but that protein bar. And that was a mistake. Mm -hmm. I had breakfast. I had breakfast, um, but I had went the whole day uh, doing things and let myself get so hungry that I woofed that barbecue no, sandwich down, honey. Bar do even both pieces of bread. You see, you're only supposed to eat one of the breads, yeah. and I ate both. Yeah. It's, I was it's hungry. It's hard uh, to do that. Yes. So. But, I mean, it's not, it's not something that you're going to be able to wake up one morning and go, yep, today's the day, starting the day, I'm going to do good every day because you fail. I fail, I fail. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's going to yeah. fail. And yeah. when you do, yeah, yeah. mark it off and move on. We're going to fail. You're going to fail. We're going to have bad days and good days and just get up the next Temptations, morning and do it yes. again. Yes. Do it again. Right. Uh, mean, you know, just try to do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But we're going to keep doing what we So, you know, if we keep making videos this year, you might see us get skinnier. You might not. <laughs> I think it's going to be harder because of our age. And it is our, so our much harder. Oh, God. Yes. We might be sitting here next year looking the same or five or ten pounds heavier. Who knows? Who mm -hmm. knows? But <laughs> We might. We might do it. But we want to share it. We want to put it out there. And, and if we can help anybody or anybody can help us. Yeah, if you got advice, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it.
We don't mind criticism. No. We don't mind somebody telling us what we ought to do. Uh -huh. That don't mean we're going to do it. Don't mean we're going to do it. It's in our mind. But if it's something intelligent and seems smart, you know, we might give it a try. And, you know, we're going to... We're just going to keep going by this. I'm going to keep going by this grocery list, but omit some of the things that I shouldn't have got, like in peanut butter pretzels and the wheat crackers. They're out. They're out. They're out. <laughs> they all got out of that bag over there. We eat them things. <laughs> peanut butter pretzels, if they in this house, we will eat them like that's the last bag <laughs> well that's, that's okay though just eat them and start off fresh tomorrow yeah, well i hadn't ate any in the last couple of days so we, we're i just, probably ate some wednesday and this is saturday so. and i think too along with uh weight management i think your mental health has to be good so i've yeah. decided this year it's not a resolution i've just decided I'm just going to let stuff roll. We're going to let it just I, like I, a duck's back. Yes. Just water I'm off a duck's back. I'm going to try not to worry about everybody else's problems. Mm -hmm. They're not going to involve me in their problems and make anything, mm -hmm. make me feel mm -hmm. some type of way. Because you have to have peace in your life. And if you don't have that peace, you're not going to be happy. Well, and the older I get, the more nervous or anxious I get about things. So I'm just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not going to be getting involved. I think it's easier as you get older not to give a crap. Yeah, it you, has been. For you got to put it. Got to put it away. Yeah, got to put it away. Well, the Bible says that too. You got to put it put away. It, put it in the trash can and go to sleep. Yes. It's hard to do, but mental, mm -hmm. mental stability is like. A if big you're thing. hung up, to, if it's Saturday or Sunday or Monday or whatever, if you're hung up on a problem that was happening at work a week ago, and yeah, let it go. Yeah. If if you hung up on your ex that you broke up with two years ago, there's a reason you broke up. Let him go. Let him go. Let him, let him go. Let uh -huh. him go. Let man, woman, whatever. Uh -huh. can be toxic, if you got go. people in your family or your friends who constantly call you with their problems and uh, want your advice, but when you give it to them, it don't do any good, quit giving it. Don't even ask the phone. Yeah, quit giving it. You know, support them, love them, be love there them. for them, but don't get upset if they don't follow your advice because people are going to be people. A lot of people want to hear what you have to say and ask for your advice, but uh -huh. they don't really care. It's not what they want to hear. They're adults. So you've wasted your time. We're adults. We're going to do what we want to do no yeah. matter what somebody tells us. Uh -huh. So, And there are two. And, you know, they might make a good choice or a bad choice, but you don't need to take it on your shoulders. Right. You got your mm -hmm. own life to live mm -hmm. your own issues going on. I mean, mm -hmm. the way the world is today, it's, it's hard on people. It is. Financially, and, mentally, yes. emotionally. We don't need somebody no. else's problems. And we got friends who have big, big problems right now, and mm -hmm. we there to listen to them. But oh, yeah. we can't tell them what to do. And no. and you know what? If they say, what should I do? And we say, well, if I was you, I'd do this. And they don't do it. That's okay. That's fine. Don't get mad at them. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just move on. They're going to, you know, let it go. People have to figure out things for themselves. It took me a long time to figure out a lot of things that I needed to do in life and how... Let it, go in, Let it go in 2024. Let it go in 2024. Let it go. And you're going to have obstacles and temptations oh, and struggles. And you have to, uh, and I don't know what people's religions are, what their mm -hmm. faith is. I personally, you know, I'm Christian, so I have mm -hmm. faith in, in God. He's going to make everything better in his time. So we'll have to do a, a video on our views on Christianity one day. Mm -hmm. But I really believe... I look at people's different religions that I've looked at, and, you know, some people call God this name or that name, but I just wonder if it's just one central God that we're all worshiping, but we worship in a different way. And uh, even though you might call him a different thing, it's still God or, you know, whatever you call your God, whatever. It don't yeah. matter to me. Um, so I don't care what you are, whether you're Catholic or Christian or Harry Krishna or Muslim or whatever. We got our God that we worship and you just do you, boo. We were all raised differently. So mm -hmm. it's, you it's do you. all in how you were raised. You do you, boo. Live your best mm -hmm. life. Try to do people right. Because a lot of people are really spiritual but not Christian or Buddhist. Oh, or, yeah. yeah. They're just really spiritual and they connect with that higher being that they know is there that is they may not say God, but it, they, they're a higher being, you know, yeah. they, they just don't, might not call them God. Right. And, and hey, let it go in 2024 and just do you. Yes. <laughs> as long as you're not hurting nobody else, causing harm to people, 
you know, you just gotta let it roll yeah. off your back. We have enough problems. We're getting ready to face problems. Our parents are getting older and we're 48 now. So mm -hmm. we have children and grandchildren to worry mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Don't mind if our if our children are thirty years old. We still gonna worry mm -hmm. about them. We're we still do. gonna worry about them and our grandchildren. And when they say, uh, "My kids, my rules," while they at your house, buddy. <laughs> That's when they come to my house. Don't give them so much sugar. <laughs> Make sure they go to bed at 9.30. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Don't tell your mama and your daddy. <laughs> and they know it. The parents know it. But I, they still got to tell us. But you know what? My kids know that I be getting into bed early so they ain't worried about the young and true. stand up late true. on me. That's true. <laughs> I've been trying to do good about um, cutting out their sugar because I'm a chocolate person. Oh, so I love chocolate. And my grandkids love chocolate. The last thing that I did was... Um, and it got me in trouble was fixing some cake, I mean, brownie batter. And I, oh. and the oldest one was the only one that wanted it, and she didn't eat it all, so she took it home with her, and mm -hmm. they didn't like it too good because it wasn't even baked. It was just brownie batter <laughs> in a box. That's what she wanted. When my granny would be baking when I was little, she'd always hand me that big spoon. Well, I sent her with the whole bowl. Yeah. So... I mean, because we ate it when we were little. Yes, and, but cookie now, dough, whatever. Now they're saying you shouldn't eat raw dough and stuff. I don't, I'm 48 years old, and I've been eating it probably all I mean, my what life. Can she happen? used to eat sticks of butter out of the fridge. I did. She's good. We're what good. What can happen if you eat raw dough? They I, say something about the eggs. I don't can know. People sick? eat raw eggs. Yes, people drink drink raw eggs. eggs. So I'm not buying it. I think it's an old wives' tale. I don't I'm know. just wondering, is it a newfangled thing that these people come up with? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I mean, if that's what I want to do, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? If you want to sit in your, on your couch and roll up little ground beef raw balls and put some salt and pepper on them and pop them in your mouth. I'm not going to do it, but whatever, no. boo. Whatever. People do it. People do it. If you like sushi, raw fish, eat it. Eat it. But I'm not going to do it. I don't, I don't. I mean, I just couldn't. I, could, I personally couldn't do that. But So the point of this is we're going to try to get healthy and we're going to try to just be uh less stressed and you know just let things roll just let it go in 2024 just and we go. know we're gonna be faced with a lot um like i said at our age things are happening and in the break room at work and people when people's eating double cheeseburgers and i'm sitting there eating a salad i'm gonna be mad just don't go to the break room eat at your day i'm gonna be mad well just go when that person's 48, they might have some kind of heart issue. Hey, the I'm girl in the office next to me has lost like 70-some pounds. On her own? Uh, well, she had help okay. from a doctor. Yeah. Um, she had the surgery. and But before she ever had the surgery, she lost like 40 pounds. Because you have to do that on your own before yeah. they'll give you surgery. She lost like 40, 45 pounds. She looks great. Yeah. She's, she's you know, healthy and up her lifestyle for her and her children. So. If she can do it, we can do it. I, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. We just have to have the mindset of doing it. And it's kind of unequal right now because we're at the point where I don't care about mm -hmm. most things. I don't, we have to make ourselves care. I don't about. care about having a Baywatch body. <laughs> I don't care about, I don't care about that. Um, it's nice to have a good nice body it's nice to be able to go shopping and get in some clothes that yes. really look good that's nice yeah. but you know i see women who weigh 300 pounds in outfits that look really good on yeah, them that's true i mean so you know whatever. that's what they're happy with let it I, let it be we're not high maintenance women mm -hmm. uh we're painting ass but well we're not high maintenance. No nails. You don't have to have your hair did every month. I want week. some nails, but I don't do it. I don't. I can. I don't spend money on nails. I don't now. want. I think. I don't know. I just yeah, don't want nails. I don't have so, any nails right now. I mean, we don't have to do a lot of the things that women do. So, mm -hmm. you know, we being healthy is one thing we need. To we do. need to do we it, need and to you do. need to do it. Yes. And, hey, if you want to be three hundred pounds, that's fine. You can be three hundred pounds and take a walk around the block, get your blood going, get your heart pumping. And, and that helps you. Yeah. If you want to be 125 pounds, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, all right. But we just wanted to say that. And if you have any advice, you can send it. If you have any questions about nutritionists or working out or Weight Watchers, you can send it to us.
Yes. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye, boo.